your new movie, it just dropped. It's over on Crackle. For those who don't know, Crackle is a streaming service online, like yep. many of the, the streaming ones yeah, out there Yeah, it's nowadays. like anything else. It's like, it's like uh, well, actually, it's a little different than everything else, because I was going to say it's like Netflix and Hulu and all that, except... It's free. It is free. That's how That's I was able to literally just tune in yeah. and watch your new movie. They have like a lot of really cool original content and they have our movie Party Boat. And it's the first thing on the website. If you go type it in, you'll really? see it. Yeah, it's the first thing on oh, there. Oh, that's so cool. It's easy to find. But talk to me about Party Boat. I okay. want to know how you became to be a part of this project. Okay. What exactly, kind of a quick breakdown of it for those who oh, haven't seen it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, on Crackle, there's a, a series called Chosen, starring Milo Ventimiglia from This Is Us, and it also has Chad Michael Murray. Uh, it's a really cool show, and I did that show a few years ago for Crackle. So I'd already kind of known them and worked with them and the same producers were producing this movie called Party Boat for Crackle. And so they called and asked if I wanted to be in a movie called Party Boat. And I was like, whoa, stop right there. You said party and boat, I'm in, mm -hmm. let's do it. And it was being in production up until like May, wasn't it? So yeah. this thing got cranked out. From oh the, yeah, from the time I think we started on to... May 7th. And as we sit here right now, guys, it's like September 1st or yeah, something. Like not even right? the 31st so, of like August. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, it came out really quickly. Um, we were in uh, about an hour north of Atlanta for three weeks, but only 15 shooting days, mm -hmm. and cranked out a whole feature. So was the whole thing, was it filmed on a boat, actually? Yeah. Like, the whole thing? Even the interior Yeah, shots, the whole or? thing. I was a little nervous that the boat would start to feel small in the movie, but it never does. Uh, we got a, I think it was like 112 feet long. This guy's real houseboat that he let us insane. have, and your your character, your name Max. Yeah, and I play I play Max. Um, I'm not sure if he has a last name or not, uh -huh. but he's Max, and he's just a party guy. Like he he him and his buddy Sean started this party company, uh, party boat company, and Sean is uh, played by Demetrius Bridges. By the way, played wonderfully by Demetrius Bridges, um, is kind of the more straight laced, businessy, you know, keeps track of numbers and all that boring stuff. And my character Max doesn't want anything to do with that. He just wants to party. The biggest party. And uh, he's never really grown up. And he has a crush on his uh, childhood friend, played by Katie LeClaire from uh, ABC Family's show Switched at Birth. Um, and so my character has a crush on her character. He's pining after the entire movie. Her birthday party's taking place on the boat, hence the party on the boat. And it's going to be my goal to uh, sweep her off her feet for the entire movie. One of the weirdest characters I have to say is that that lake cop dude. Oh my god! Like the, he would do things and say yeah. things, and I was just like, wait, what? Yeah, what? we we got so lucky with this cast. Like I I mean, um, so so we already talked about Demetrius. We talked about Katie. Uh, we're being chased the entire time by a lake cop played by Jay Moore, uh, played oh, brilliantly, hilarious. brilliantly and hilariously by Jay Moore, who's a legend. I mean, Jay Moore is a comedy legend. Um, and he just, he was so perfect. And I don't think any of his lines were in the original script. It's like, I had just, a feeling a lot of his oh, stuff was improv. Complete improvisation the whole time. Um, and just crushed it. And then his, um, his little deputy guy is played by JC Kalen, who's like mm -hmm. a YouTube, uh, sensation and like a really funny dude as well. And so, yeah, they were, they're hilarious. The and whole so, time. and also Mr. Murchoff. Oh yeah, he's in it, and obviously Bo. you guys are known uh, for yeah. your roles together in Awkward. Yeah. So how was it that you guys? Can we decided... swear? Can I swear on this? Can I curse? Yeah. You oh, can I curse. can. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Feel right. free. Because Bo's a piece of shit. Naturally. Just, yeah. Like he's just a, he's a piece of shit. We don't get along at all. I can't stand that guy. For some reason, Awful I don't believe that. I feel like you guys love working together. Honestly, like we met, uh, what seven years ago now to do Awkward, and we had never met before, and we it was love at first sight. It really was. It was bromance at first sight. Is he really as hairy as he was in that movie? Yeah. Is that real chest oh, hair? Oh, he's a stomach? hairy beast. I didn't know that. Yeah. And I assumed it was fake when he's, I first saw no, it. No, he's Nothing a hairy beast. Him. He, uh... I, let me tell you something. He's so proud of that hair. <laughs> he is so proud of his chest hair. You've never met someone more proud of their body hair than that guy. I was thinking he should audition for, they just announced the Aladdin live action movie. Oh. He could audition for the carpet. For the he flying could. rug that they go out he on, could. I don't know. Yeah, he's a hairy beast. He, um, it's funny because he had to take his shirt off all the time in Awkward because he's a real heartthrob. I mean, he's he's easy on the eyes and he's got some muscles, um, and he uh, uh, he was always taking his shirt off. But he was every morning I would walk into the makeup trailer, they were shaving him down. He like, didn't go forty year old virgin and just wax it all well, off from time to there time. There was a season where he. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. He is gonna kill me. He, uh, they had to shave him all the time. And you know how it is, like, 
it gets stubbly and it gets itchy and it gets you, get you know, grown hairs. Yeah, and get, like even if you shave your face, you get, it's just it's itchy. It's bad. So when you're shaving all the time, and so he begged them, please, like let me just go a little bit without taking, taking the my shirt, shirt off. off. <laughs> and so he, so the compromise was he shaved like a big V, a so that V-neck. so that you wouldn't see it if he had like a V neck on or a button down or whatever. I would just walk in the trailer in the morning like with my cup of coffee, like hey, good morning, and he's just sitting there, shirt off, and the ladies just like you know, <laughs> got the, got the shaving cream out and just only three yeah. more hours. <laughs> we're, we're almost there. Yeah. So he was excited for party, but when he yeah, he plays uh, Bo plays uh, the bartender on the boat. His name's Jonathan, and he's a bit of a free spirit. He was very excited when he got thrilled because he, he talked to the producers and director, and he was like, can I can I not shave my chest? <laughs> and they were like, sure. Like, Jonathan's kind of a hippie. He's kind of a free spirit. Like, why not? And uh, so he was he was very excited about that. So you can see Harry Bo Murchoff uh, throughout the film. It's like a whole new man. Yeah. His shirt's off pretty much the entire movie. Yeah, and it sounds like he wanted it that way. He, oh, yeah. He, he doesn't he need a it. shirt with that with no. that shirt that he's, <laughs> he's wearing already. already. Shirt, yeah. Tell me a good story from the set of Party Boat then. Was mm. there one thing, something, whether it's a scene in the movie or something that okay. happened outside of it? Dude, okay, we, we were filming an hour north of Atlanta. We're in a uh, town called Buford, Georgia, and it's exactly how it sounds. And we, we walked in a bar uh, after wrapping the first day of filming, and we're in there, and it doesn't take long for the locals to come over. It's called- uh, The local folk. Yeah, the locals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere, man. It's like gravel parking lot. This bar, it, like, it looks like the bar from like Roadhouse, but like smaller. <laughs> like it's just, it's banjos and, and uh, chewing tobacco. Um, and these dudes walk up, and I mean, I'm wearing these jeans, by the way, okay? Which Why are like? your jeans so top, boy? Oh, he comes up. He's like in the middle of his sentence. He's like talking like, what you guys doing around here? Are you, are you the one shooting that movie? We're like, yeah, yeah. And then he's like in the middle of his sentence. He's just like, oh, that's real cool. We'll have a good time on the... L hey, man. <laughs> are them skinny jeans? And I was like, no, I mean, well, not really. They, I mean, they got like, they got... Yeah, they're not skinny mine jeans. Mine are skinnier. I mean, you, you can see I was wrinkles like, come in on, them. man. But it was pretty funny. It stopped him dead in his tracks. And then I was like, "What? You don't wear skinny jeans?" He's like, "I haven't worn pants in years." I, I think we pretty well covered <laughs> all that I can. All that I can want to know talk for about years. this movie. But thanks yeah. for sitting down and chatting. Of course, with me about man. This. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it was a lot of, of fun. It was fun to chat about thanks. it. Thanks, everybody. Thank head to Crackle.com. It is free. You can literally just type in that website right now. At this point, it's the first thing that pops up on the top. The movie is Party Boat. You can watch it. He's the lead in it. Yeah. So so keep That's your right. eyes peeled for my, this. My big dumb face the whole time.